Our producer, Leslie Marcus, joins us to reveal the findings of her investigation. We also have Rick Ishitani from the LAPD's Piracy Unit here in our audience. Appreciate you being here, Rick. And, and I gotta tell you, Leslie, you've done some fascinating investigations on the show. To jumpstart the conversation, I'm, I'm intrigued. I wanna know what are the lab results? Mm -hmm. The lab had some very interesting results. Starting off with one of the Mac Grays actually had pathogenic, dangerous bacteria in it that can make you sick and could have been made with dirty water. So that was a counterfeit version? Yes, the counterfeit yeah. version had dangerous pathogenic bacteria in it. Second thing that was really interesting, this eyeshadow palette right here, actually the fake version, and you can see they look almost identical, the fake version contained dangerous amounts of lead that the FDA deems unsafe, 10 times as much lead as the original. Wow. Another interesting finding, this right here I thought was very interesting. The original MAC formula has SPF in it. So I wanted to test a product that, a counterfeit that said it had SPF. And guess what the lab found? Zero SPF. Whoa. No protection. Wow. So, yeah. so, okay, so we've got a neurologic That's toxin. Right. It shouldn't be there in <laughs> sure. one of the fakes. Mm -hmm. We're trying to prevent skin cancer. So theoretically, if you're using something you think is protecting your skin but isn't, you could get skin cancer. Right. Correct. What is, in your mind, fueling so many counterfeits out there. There is such a demand out there for these popular Instagram brands like P Kylie Cosmetics or Too Faced, and these mm -hmm. products sell out so quickly, right? And so people want to get them. They don't want to wait weeks for them to be restocked. The counterfeits, counterfeiters know that. So they're fulfilling a demand, and you can buy this stuff two days, get it in the mail. Our Kylie Lip Kit, the real version, took us seven days to receive. There's no mm -hmm. express shipping on her website. So I feel like that is absolutely fueling the demand. Rick, I want to bring you in from the law enforcement's perspective. How big of a problem is this? Because I didn't think it was this bad. It's an epic. It's crazy out there. Um, social media has a huge play in this. Obviously, they don't care. They care less about the harmful ingredients that are contained in these counterfeit makeup. It's all about the profit. It's all about making that money. For our viewers, and I think you might even give us a more up-to-date number, I read $80 million worth of these counterfeit cosmetics are seized each year. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's probably about $100 million, easily $100 million. Wow. Yeah. And this is not just, you know, uh, cosmetics. We, are, we go after cos I mean, counterfeit pharmaceutical goods. If you buy a counterfeit handbag, oh, you got duped, not a big deal. But yeah. if you purchase a counterfeit cosmetic, you're actually placing that on your skin. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't have yeah. no idea. Dangerous bacteria levels, lead. Um, believe it or not, there's been tested that shows that there's animal feces that are in some of the ingredients. It's horrible. Rick, appreciate the work you're doing. Thank yeah. You. You know, hopefully we can get rid of these counterfeits. Leslie, fabulous as always.